In tonight's explosive match, we go for an all-time dream match, perhaps, Randy Orton versus Sting. And we're going to play this in an independent game that you can find on your mobile device, Booking Revolution HD. And in this video, I'm going to be offering up my thoughts on the game, hopefully giving you some fun gameplay and some entertaining commentary as well. Well, greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our Wrestling Wednesday with the Adipose TV. For this particular match, we are going to be playing in Booking Revolution HD, and these characters may look fairly familiar, Rory Awesome, uh, but we're going to be playing uh, Randy Orton versus Sting. Now, this is a game which is available um, on most mobile devices at the moment, and I believe there are... Uh, I think there's like a demo PC version in the works and it's out on the kind of the Ouya console as well which is like a thing that lets you play kind of mobile device games on your on your TV um, as well and this is by uh, M. Dickey or Matt Dickey uh, who has done the kind of uh, uh, wrestling empire games and the uh, uh, booking empire games um, th throughout the years you may well be familiar with his work you may not but the, the style is quite uh, the, the the style is quite familiar in that we have these kind of rather chunky characters, but I'm I'm never one that's going to particularly bothered by graphics. Being a fan of the Fire Pro Wrestling series, uh, but you always have huge amounts of weapons and some wonderful kind of um, possibilities for what you can actually kind of do with them. And as you'll see um, in this particular match here, that things do go um, a little awry at various points as I get back flipped out of the entire ring um, by Sting. Now, um, in contrast to perhaps some of my previous commentaries, um, I'm going to be talking more perhaps about the game here rather than the match because this is probably the most unknown game um, so far that I have played. All the others have been kind of like mainstream releases, whereas this is definitely kind of a, an indie development. But there are loads and loads of really, really good ideas um, in this thing and, and a few things that I think... Um, do need kind of improving as I completely miss the uh, the top rope double axe handle. Um, first, the fact that you can you can always drag your opponent around um, in in this ma in this game, which I think is really really good Dr towards objects, away from objects. It's something that the SmackDown series kind of has, um, but it's a lot easier here. You can have proper fighting on the ring apron, and you often do. And various moves will um, you, you've almost got your full repertoire of maneuvers here, and you can use that to kind of knock the other person off, and even connect with some horrible um, kind of like um, power bombs off the. Uh, the rope and things like that. Now note that this particular game is called Booking Revolution, not Wrestling Revolution, and that's because the art, the aim of this particular game is to put together a successful promotion. Now that actually means that these wrestlers are actually working together to have a good match. And if you look above a Sting's head during this match, he just spoke a couple of times. He said, "Oh, I need a bell." He said, um, "I can't remember what the other one was," but he's actually giving us little hints and tips on on how to improve this match. Give me something to sell, he's saying. So basically, he's been beating us up too much because. Because this, this game is all about actually having a great match. And if you look up in the top middle, you'll see there is a star rating for this match. And I'm currently on one and a half stars, go, going between one and a half and two. Um, as I just get busted open by Sting um, as I sneak over there and casually punch him out of the ring and follow it up with a diving knee drop. Which makes this actually probably the first time a game has openly said, Oh, <laughs> I'll come back to that idea in a minute. But this is another great thing about this game is that whole, certain whole holds you are in control of. Um, so whilst I've grabbed his legs here, I am in completely in control of the attack and I can actually hold the leg up there for quite some time before I deliver yet another shot um, to the nads. And, and actually when you're in holds, by pressing different direction, you can you can kind of pull the hold tighter and release the hold and that kind of affects how long you can hold various things, uh, various holds on as well. Um, yeah, but that, 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 I think that actually makes this game rather unique in the terms that it's it's not it's about having a good match rather than about necessarily who wins um, the match. And uh, I mean, I've, for years I've played um, wrestling games just with the aim of having a good match, and I've done that with my friends, just you know putting putting together kind of the best match possible for fun. But this is the first time the game has actually um, encouraged me to do so. King of Colosseum Two has something where it has a match rating, as I power bomb Sting into oblivion through the uh, through the steps there. Um, 
King of Coliseum had a match rating which we think was moving uh, towards that way and Fire Pro Wrestling when you put together a card it did give matches rating and then rated the whole show so we've kind of seen little elements but here it's very explicit as you've got the, the star rating above your head. Now whilst I think that is an absolutely great idea I will say that I actually really struggle to get high star ratings I mean it's impossible it's possible that I'm just kind of sucky at the game but so far I would argue I've been having a good match it's been back and forth um, I've given her a power bomb on the stairs outside um, I I've just got my special and I've dropped him with an RKO so I'm not really sure why um, I'm not getting a good star rating here and I do think the documentation on this game needs to be um, improved because there's loads of things Woohoo! there is loads of things um, that I don't really understand what what's going on like there's these wonderful reversals like you'll punch someone and then all of a sudden that punch will get reversed into like a submission hold and then they'll combo that submission hold into another submission hold and you're gonna see that in a minute so I'm gonna replay this match under hardcore hardcore rules um, so there's some of there's loads of things that kind of happen, but I'm not really sure why. And I didn't know if I, I don't know if I've done that by tapping a button, or I don't know if it's an automatic reversal. Now there's a huge amount of different options in this game. Um, you can just see all the different things that you can kind of change there. You can set up how many weapons you've got, where you've got the weapons. Tons of different modes. Um, and I'm actually going to put together a pre-match promo here um, because um, whilst I'm kind of in the exhibition mode, uh, when you're playing in the booking mode, you really can set up matches and set up rivalries and things like that. So I'm I'm going through all the different categories for prom promos that I can give and I've decided that I'm going to to find one where where Randy Orton will basically abuse uh, the sting for having a stupid costume so there we go arguments insult costume and you'll get this little promo at the beginning um, of the match which is quite which is lovely and realistic and again if you look through the options here you can choose if it's in the cage how many we weapons you want things like that um, you've got first fall wins things like that so you can choose how many kind of falls you want Iron Man you know all of the kind of uh, the, the match modes you would want really are here. So here we go, beginning of the match, this time it's hardcore, so there's weapons everywhere. Um, and here we go. What the hell are you wearing, Corkrow? You look like a reject from a sci-fi convention. I like to think that I'm a trendsetter backstage. Why didn't you come to me for some advice? Are things really that bad? Your lousy career has reduced you to digging clothes out of the garbage. Well, I'm glad you're taking such an interest in my costume because these boots are going to be up your ass in a minute. And <laughs> I don't know about you, but I, I kind of really like this idea of having a little promo before the match that kind of makes these guys go, hey, let's go get each other. As Sting literally runs straight over to Randy Orton, gives him a lovely backbreaker and goes for the pin straight away. It's quite cool. Um, and uh, there you go. You see, there was a punch reversed into a lovely bridging uh, roll-up. And, um, and and again, you see there, he just comboed something into something else as well. And I'd love to know kind of exactly how you do these things. I've even seen videos um, online where you can actually counter top rope maneuvers into finishes. Um, but I'm, again, I'm not really entirely sure how you do it. Now, the physics connect the connection between all the manu uh, objects is is reasonable. It's pretty good. I mean, it's I mean, as you can see from the graphics, it's not it's not like we're playing uh, the second coming of the Last of Us here. But we but you can um, the objects more or less respond as you would like. And he, here's an example of me kind of putting on the hold there. And see, so yeah, if you watch my the directions I'm pressing on the left and the right, as I push left, I pull the hold in further. As I push right, I release it. And I also like the fact that submission holds are actually fairly long here it isn't one of those games where you you just press a submission and it's on for two seconds and then you let go they can actually be on for a, a fairly decent length of time here and I just love the kicking in the nuts so much and maneuver so much I, I had to go back to it um, but there's various other ones where you can do like mounted punches where you can do a similar thing as well now um, you're <laughs> keep watching because something rather unusual is about to happen that's right the whole ring more or less exploded, both tables collapsed, the camera blew up, um, my, our, both of our hells have died. And this is another interesting thing about um, about Booking Revolution, is the way that your characters can get quite severely hurt. And basically, Randy Orton, for the rest of this match, is going to be kind of rolling around on the floor and unable to find it very, very hard to get up. And almost, uh, he'll fall down for no reason at some points, or he'll he'll do like ten strikes to... to, to to, to Sting and then Sting will come back with one and Randy will just drop like a stone uh, because of the, the kind of the, the selling of various things and there was a lovely kind of combination maneuver there and I didn't again I'm not sure if Sting would have if he was a human character would have pressed something to do that or whether it's kind of automatic um, 
as I kind of struggle to get out. So there's there's a lot to like about um, Booking Revolution, um, and especially because it's uh, on mobile as well, so it, it's pretty cheap. And there's there's many kind of hours of play here as you would would attempt to take your your uh, your manager from from one federation to the other and become the most successful um, booking. Um, most successful booker of all time. In fact, Sting thinks he's got Randy Orton beat here just from the explosion, not even bothering to do any other manoeuvres. As Randy Orton sells and sells and sells, reminding me of Batista taking clotheslines there, rolling around the ring. Um, some lovely little strikes from the floor as Randy Orton again goes for the powerbomb. And powerbomb Sting, good and proper, um, down onto the remains of the table. You can put tables back up. You can, I think, set fire to tables in various matches or... Um, or, or situations as Sting goes for the win, looking to take him down, take me down with just a sleeper. Um, there is kind of blood in this game. You'll see various blood stains on the ring. Uh, there, you there's all sorts of weapons from guitars to brass knucks to microphones to chairs to tables to ladders, and uh, I think I even saw a gun on the ring earlier. I'm not sure if you can fire it, but. This is clearly a game which doesn't take itself uh, too seriously, but you can control the, the weapons that you have here or the weapons that you, you, you don't have um, here as well. Um, now, unless I'm missing something, I don't think there is a block button or a reverse grapple button. And I do think that perhaps the initial gameplay kind of misses um, the idea of kind of countering and um, and things like that. I mean, I do. I mean, I'm, you can see the controls I'm using here, and I'm kind of more or less button bashing when I'm in when I'm losing. And when I'm on the floor, I'm just kind of tapping attack and hoping to get a swift kick, quick swift kick off and stuff like that. As I hit a quick swift suplex on the outside on the grass. Um, but I think I'd, I think I would like to see a bit more kind of tactics in terms of gaining control and things like that. Um, uh, to kind of help that initial play, but I do like the way you can get two guys completely kind of knackered. Stinker asking me what on earth was that? Both of us now are just uh, after the beating we took from that explosion are just kind of falling all over um, the place, and um, the match surely is now kind of coming towards its conclusion. But despite the big explosion and despite the suffering these guys are going through, again I'm basically down on zero stars here <laughs> between zero one. So I'm not re again I'm not really sure what I have done wrong. It might just be that. Um, because I'm playing in exhibition mode, there's no kind of real feud going on or something like that. But these are pretty, two pretty well-established names, uh, major wrestlers, and um, I'm not really sure how, would, how I would have been able to wrestle the match any differently um, to, 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 to have got a higher rating. As Sting goes for the win on the outside, um, boring the crowd to oblivion. You can see the little score just below the stars. Um, see, there we go. That was a fantastic counter by Randy Orton there. And what I don't know if I got that by just by tapping or, or whether it was kind of automatic. But either way, that's a lovely kind of set of... The, the moves do link together really, really well. Because um, I think Sting went from one hole to a second hole and then I countered that hole into a kind of stunner variation that had a huge big blood burst coming out of it at the same time. Which is kind of cool. Now, you can build yourself up to a finisher. Um, but neither of us are anywhere near that. But you can attempt a finisher at any time, but your chances of hitting it are quite low. And um, so while I was playing this match, at this point I went for the finisher, um, and he countered it. And uh, But again, it's quite cool. We're kind of scrabbling around on the floor. I went for the finisher again. Sting kind of is kicking me off. Um, we're both kind of collapsing around here, but it, it does feel a little bit... Um, RKO with blood all over the ring. Randy Orton not able to get up, crawling back over his opponent and goes for the cover. And Randy Orton has done it again. But lies on the in his own pool of blood as Sting seems more or less to have survived this match unscathed. Um, if you've enjoyed this little look at Booking Revolution and of course today's match, uh, then uh, do give the video a like and subscribe if you want to see more. I post up wrestling videos every Wednesday and there'll be other wrestling videos out today if you haven't seen them. Continuing my look at the Attitude Era and this is my little look at Booking Revolution available on uh, most mobile stores right now. See ya!